Hey folks, this is Terry with the Proto School Community Call for June 4th. We have a few updates for you today, including a couple that we're really excited about. So we will get started. Um, on the content side, I am working on building a new tutorial on verified storage in Filecoin, which will be our first Filecoin tutorial. So looking forward to that. Um, and then I will let uh, Zay show everyone the tutorial feedback survey. I think we introduced it last time, but it is done now and collecting feedback. Yep. So let me share my screen. So now every time you finish a tutorial, so, so if you go to the tutorial and then you finish up everything, you get all onto the next to the last page. Uh, you'll get this uh, feedback survey where you can fill in the questions so for us to understand um, exactly what went on on the, on the tutorial. If we if you thought that the, the concept was what were well uh, presented. Uh, any other feedback you have. This way we can understand if uh, if we need to improve any part of a specific tutorial or any content and so we can get better feedback uh, from our users. Uh, so yeah, uh, in the future we will also, um, so this has enabled us actually now to have some stats to understand uh, because you, since you can rate them from uh, one to five, uh, this has enabled us to, to to go on this granular level uh, on each uh, parameter that we have set up for the survey. In the future, we'll also be able to, uh, we're working on trying to understand what is the profile of our users so we can better cater for them, uh, specific if we, for non-coding non users, for coding users and that kind of stuff. Um, so other things that we have uh, done as well since last meeting, um, so we did some, uh, updates to our IPFS integration. Since we have validation code and we have uh, integration with JS IPFS, uh, we did some updates so we can better deal with their errors. And this way, further on, we will have um, a better way to deal with uh, their changes, their upcoming changes. So this will make our, um, our code challenges a bit more uh, sustainable in the future. Um, we also fixed, uh, a small uh, Firefox bug on the newsletter uh, for folks that are using um, content uh, that are, if they are blocking, uh, they are using the enhanced, uh, I think it's called enhanced uh, tracking protection for Firefox. Uh, this would happen, they will not be able to subscribe. So if you had any trouble before, uh, it would be something along the lines. Let me, let me get the screenshot of this. Yeah, so if you're using, the enhanced tracking protection on strict you will not be able to subscribe on Firefox so uh, on the latest version. So now that's uh, fixed. Um, and so as uh, Terry said, we now have a new cool uh, tutorial builder. So for content authors where we, where we had previously to create a bunch of files uh, to actually make sure the, the, the tutorials come up on the website, on the listing and uh, that kind of stuff. You have to create a bunch of files, and it was a, the process was a bit. Um, it was just a, a bunch of grunt work to do. Um, so now we created a CLI, so we, you can um, more automatically set up your tutorial. So, for example, I have the the anatomy of a CID tutorial, and this is the JSON file tutorial, the JSON file that we have to update when we want to update stuff. So if you want to update a title, for example, I I would do it like this, and it would update, oh, I haven't started my server, so of course it's not working properly. Um, so this is how you would update the content, right? So you update the JSON file and then all the information here would update. Um, you would need to add this information here at first, create the folders here. Now, what we've done is when you first, uh, okay, this should work now. Okay, so this is how we update the content here, and create uh, the content for the tutorial. So now when we want to add in the tutorial, we'll have to create the folder and that kind of stuff. So now what we actually need to do is just use, create a little CLI tool called ProWizard. So let's say I want to create a new tutorial and let's give it a name, uh, lp2p uh, peers discovery. 
and this is okay. Let's select these options. So this is all the process that you have to do on the JSON file. Um, yeah, just a small description, the P2P first tutorial, something like that, just as an example. And then here I'd say no. Okay, cool. And I'd say no. So this automatically now created everything that needs to happen for the tutorial to show up here. It doesn't have any lessons now, but I can do that. So I can go back and then do lesson. And yeah, I want to add to it. Lesson number one. Now I want it to be text. And then add another lesson, lesson number two. And multiple choice. And what this has done now is automatically the things pop up here. So the first one is a text lesson and the next one is a quiz. So everything is set up. What you need to do now, is just write the content. Uh, if you want, what you need to do now is go actually to the folder structure and you have the first tutorial here. And this is where you write your markdown to, and then you can update the title if you want, but actually write your, uh, your content. And then on the second lesson here, you can uh, update the um, first question. Sorry, this is the answer. Answer one, if my English were <laughs> proper. Uh, yeah, so this is where you actually, uh, the, the files are already created for you. You just need to write in the content for uh, putting right in the tutorial. Yeah, and that's it. So this will enable you to also add uh, resources as well to this last page. Right now it doesn't have any, I can do that. I can also add a resource here. I'd say this is the correct one. What's the title of resource? And let's say, uh, leave P2P docs page and do, 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 do. Docs, leave P2P. and leave P2P docs page. Tag is docs and I'm done. And so now I can go here and the docs page is here and I click on it and it goes over to what we want. So this is just a much quicker way. If you, you, you just saw that in in one minute or two, I was able to create a, the tutorial and see it. And then now I just need to focus on the content. So I just wanted to make sure that when you create content, you are not worried about uh, technicalities and grunt work. You just go into, into, the, into the content. Um, so what else do we have? Yeah, so next thing um, that we have coming up soon will be the Leap P2P uh, tutorial support. Now, of course, now we can do um, text and multiple choice uh, tutorials, uh, lessons, but we are, we are working on making sure we have cool challenges support so that you can we'll be able to, to, to create the P2P nodes and that kind of stuff uh, in, in Plural School. Yeah, so that's, I think that's it. Yeah, you can go ahead, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, you want to stop your screen sharing? Yeah. So, yeah, the only other up quick updates we have um, our friends at Moxie owned Porto.school and they have helped us get it redirected to Proto.school for people who type their keys in the wrong order when they're trying to get to us, which is awesome. And then the other update is about this call itself. Um, we've had lower attendance than usual lately. And I think time zones are a challenge for people and people are also dealing with a lot right now with uh, coronavirus challenges and other challenges. So our plan is to put this call on hold for right now. For those who missed it, the Proto School newsletter is available now. So big updates like the ones that you saw in this call um, are ones that will be going out in the Proto School newsletter. So you can sign up for that at proto.school slash hash slash news um, or just click the news tab on the top of our website sign up for that. There's a version for everyone that would be major updates like we have a new tutorial or we have an important new site feature. And that's all we'd let you know about. Or if you're interested in hosting events, we have a special version for local leadership updates. You just check a checkbox and then we'd tell you stuff that's uh, relevant specifically to you. So if we added a new resource for local leaders, we'd keep you posted um, in that sort of sub piece of the audience. Um, so for right now, we're going to pause this call uh, we're very happy to kind of resume if, if the audience demands, but we can also answer questions one off. We can schedule a call with you if there's something you want to chat about about Proto School. So feel free to email us. We're at protoschool at protocol.ai if you want to set up a chat. Um, also, if there's demand for it, we could set up just drop in office hours to ask questions. But 
Um, let's try using the newsletter for right now, see how it goes, and then we'll, we'll go from there. So that's the updates for June, and we're really excited to keep you updated through the newsletter. We got a, lots of great stuff coming up. So thank you all. Talk to you later. Bye.